Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Rodman from TopStockMarketPicks.com. Going to show you guys how to set up TC2000. This is the software I use for my trading software. I like software that you can buy and add things to it. That's probably the best way to say what I like about this. But let's get going here. All right, first thing we want to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do a layout here. What I recommend, first thing you want to do is get fundamentals. I usually click the X, put it over here. Boom, you got your fundamentals right there. <coughs> um, next thing is, uh, you got two options to put in box. You can go split like this. Um, you can get rid of boxes. You know what I mean? You can get rid of them. Delete them. You do pretty much do a lot. And if you want, you can even put them in here. Get rid of, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just, there you go, bingo. Usually I, I make it, all right. So we'll set it up like this. Now the next thing I, I like to do, so my scans are more uniform. It's just the way I set things up. So the next thing we're gonna do is actually have one more box. Come down here, it says price and um, volume, right? What this is gonna do is actually <coughs> give you Thing with everything you want to know up in here so I'm just gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna add this so you actually know what's going on all right so it's in two pot oh wait a yeah it is. hold on I thought I had this in two pots wait a minute yeah Wait a minute. I thought I saved this part one, part two. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Damn. Give me a minute here. Yeah, here's the layout. Oh, all right. I mean, I, I'm sorry about that. All right, main. All right, I got it now. All right, well, f all right. So it's main pick. Main. I'm sorry, I got the wrong. I kind of got the wrong box. I apologize. So it's me plot. It's main price. Yeah. All right, we got it now. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'll, I'll fix this. I'll get it going. Going again. Then we get main volume. All right, there we go. <coughs> uh, hold on, let's get a reverse this. I'll put this on this side. Yeah, all right, there you go. There we go. You got it set up here, so in other words, all right. Just make it easier for you guys to um, look at stuff. Next thing we add is the news here. <coughs> Live news. Get it set right. What's it set? And you guys can um, OK, 
you know, you got boom, like you're all set. Like you got everything you would need right here. Bingo. Okay, then we're gonna add notes here. That gives you everything you need. The chart, I'm just gonna come up here and you can make your own custom chart. But for you guys don't know how to make a chart, I'll show you what I like to do for my chart. So first thing I wanna do is just go to basic, come in here. <coughs> um, let's see. I'll show you guys also how to add a scan too. We can put a scan right with notes. I usually follow different stocks here, but anyways, where's that one going? In fact, I was, let's, let's, um, well, um, oh, I got, oh, there we go. We got one right here. I'll put a symbol in here. Here we go. We'll do this one. Another one that's on my radar. <coughs> All right, eh. Alright, good enough. I see I already have notes in this one. Alright, so why don't we go over to plus. First thing we want to do is add volume. <coughs> Click here for volume. Bring it down a little bit. Alright, next thing I like to do is add acorn. Right here. Now, uh, this one's very good. I'm going to Oh, you guys hide it because you don't. Now, say we want to put this on top, this where the volume is and the volume where I got this one. So what we're going to do is hit the little arrow button here and just put over here. So see how we move the volume down and this up? It's like, so that's how you do that. And we got the daily minutes and stuff like that. Now, what I prefer to do is change my candle. So we're going to go up to where you see the little change candle charts. Between the count, the little calendar will plus go right there. Click on that. First thing I'm going to do is the candlesticks. Open and close. And I'm going to change it to white. We're going to check here. And then... <coughs> Add a hundred percent here. Same thing here. So I had to go make my coffee. Select both boxes. You can put your label here, what you want to call it. What I recommend is you do a base layout. You know what I mean? So um got that, just click that. And now we're all set and you can draw some um trend lines. Uh, here's a stock I'm following. Um, <coughs> 9.30, I'm expecting the, this stock to, um, see it's going up, so I'm expecting it somehow to, somehow, uh, probably slam right about in here. Thinking this is where it's going to end up at. But, like I said, there's a lot of variables. So, um, you can put trend lines in anywhere. What I like to do is come down to that last candle that hit the high. And um, I usually put my lines, I think, are going to be uh, get watching me doing shots. Blue line is always going to be one where it's it's going to follow that path in that area. If they, when there's a yellow line, that means I'm expecting it oh, off yellow. I'm well canary yellow. I, I'm colorblind, but anyways, <coughs> these are the lines. Now wait a minute. I can't. Oh no. I oh yeah, canary yellow sound. All right. Well and. This one is a 
And of course, uh, sometimes I label it red down there. So red means it's going to slam down to the air possibility. But like I said, right, right now I'm just working on some trend lines over here from the candle on the Monday the 31st. I'm sorry, January. Wait a minute, sorry about that. <clears throat> now the day I'm going from is the night month 16. 2016 from that point it was at a dollar 46 and then now it's at a dollar 98 so it definitely got a chance to rise up to 225 I'm gonna show you guys also I'm gonna paper trade this one right now because obviously my brokerage account I'm in my uh, I'm in this other trade C B A Y right now. But anyway, so what you do with paper training, you just hit the buy button. <clears throat> it's very simple. Two hundred shares it would cost you in paper trade money three hundred and fifty six dollars. Just hit purchase. Just paper trade paper trading. Uh, look a little profit lead, yeah. This is when I paper trade. I'm right now. I'm just doing it on there, and I did post this picture on Profit Lee. I tried to upload a video to Profit Lee. If anyone knows how to do that, why don't you leave a comment above this video here? All right. So I'm just gonna hit the buy button. Just 200 shares. So I'm gonna do a market recap after. This video is done about this stock. You know how it goes. But there's another program I want to show you. And I'm not getting paid for no advertisement for this one. I bought this one because I like the price. It's probably overkill for me. But I'm definitely going to use it. And I just want to bring it into the screen here. The only thing I w w wish it was with this is if I could have a, a desktop... Uh, version uh the icon version but that the mount the theometer um what this is is this and i'm gonna try i'm gonna explain it best i can the esa is the um espm 500s of course then you got nasdaq's thermometer then you got the ui i want to say that's um oh what the heck i forgot now don't know some of the names, but then the next ones here is the uh, <coughs> oil, gold, and money, the euro. But I like about this program is <coughs> pretty much the NASDAQ, S&P 500, NASDAQ is right here. And then this one is da 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 da. Money says, wait, but the harmoner tells you where it goes. So I'm going to do another video where I'm actually doing the S&P 500 and this. But this tells me when there's a buy and a short. The green is buy and the red is short. Red, green is buy, red is sell. But good program. If you want to get this, go to daytradingradio.com or something like that. But it's a good program. I think it's day trading radio rock star or something like that and they got the little logo with the red star black star if it was me i would prefer maybe a different color because i can see the red nice i just can't see the black <clears throat> maybe red and green would be kind of cool but anyways hey it's a good program uh 
I'm going to try and do some more videos about this program because there's really not a lot of good ones to actually show you what to do. But anyways, I love the tool. I definitely recommend it. I jumped in. I paid him $35.95 a month, which is good $34.95 a month. Wow, and triometer oversold. And it just went off. You just got a live triometer oversold. Love the programs. I'm going to be bringing you a lot more videos about this. Thank you. God bless. Hope everybody likes it. I'll leave a link down in the description where to get this. Thank you. Amen. Enjoy. Well, we can see if another one takes up. And it's kind of cool because I, I would like it if they made a desktop app for it. It will look kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? You have to actually launch it from the uh, platform. <clears throat> but I'm using it for two screens. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of cool because you can follow the index and stuff like that. But enjoy. I hope you guys like this layout. Like I said, I got the live news updates right here. Another good thing I like about this before I leave is you can click on it and we'll give you the symbols that are in that particular <coughs> stock. You know what I mean? And, <coughs> and everything like that. If you want to post notes about the stock, in fact, I already... If you want to post notes about this... All you have to do is, which I like to do is, I like to go to Finviz, and I'll just um, go to Finviz, because um, I will use the trust Yahoo, but they haven't been doing too well. And for Tim Sykes to say he's disappointed with them, well, I definitely stay away from them. Um... I kind of like the information I get from Finviz, but then again, I guess everyone has their own choice. Um, but we'll go to Finviz and we'll just see what's going on with the stock. I'll just show you guys quickly what I uh, do for a scan too, but not right now. I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too much. Um, say I want this information right here. I'm just going to quickly do it so I can show you guys how I, how you can just put notes in TC2000. So you're just going to come here and um, copy this. Click copy. Go over to TC2000. Anywhere in the chat, just click create a note. I usually like to go down and first thing I do is I put the date. 2017. I put the time, it's 9.27. ES Tradeometer oversold. So there you go again, the ES Tradeometer oversold. So it even speaks, it's an awesome program. Already with this software, I've already, damn, made profits so, of... Um, Why you Tradeometer oversold? <laughs> I can't even speak. Over $400 using this program. Right here, it's the best one. So you just hit control V and you can paste the notes in here. <coughs> and now this is a NASDAQ. So if I look at the NASDAQ, um, at 7.43 a.m., it said do a, it was a sell at that point. So that's not bad. In Q Tradeometer oversold. Yep, the in Q Tradeometer oversold. But love this program. It's awesome. Definitely check it out. Won't be disappointed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's enough for me. I hope you guys do well. Remember, I'll have a link down below for everything else. And I will um, put another YouTube video up on how to set up scans next. Thank you very much and God bless.